All right, Derek and I are gonna take, one person gonna have a knife, so I'll have Derek use the knife first. He's just gonna be, let's just do a standard grip. He's gonna hook, so his goal is to take this knife and hook. So he's doing an angle one attack, hooking to the skull, the cranium. If I block this, he's gonna come down, he's gonna try to slice my stomach into that smiley face pattern. If after, after he finishes, he ends up on the opposite side, he's gonna do a reverse backhand here, or it could be a pummel strike here, or it could be a slash to the neck. If it's double blade, or he turns it this way, it could be this way, or if he just turns his hand this way, it could be a slash this way. So it doesn't, the, the whole point, the targets are this side of the face, cut the stomach, the other side of the face. So just do that application. So make contact lightly. So he's done the skull, he's cut it across, and he's done the other side of the skull. Now he switches hands, he does the opposite side. So that's his range of motion. So it's good to do it, just practice through. So Derek knows his range that he needs to reach based on the length of his arms and the length of his blade. I obviously don't want that to happen, so he goes back to the right side, and I've done my first block. I'm successful, but if I pass it down, then he cuts my stomach, and he cuts and he uh, hits my face again on the opposite side. So I'm like, well, that doesn't work. So he comes at me again. I blocked the first one. Now I parried him past it, so I avoided him hitting there, but he slides up and he gets me from this position. So that's not good. So I add the full position, which is block here. I parry it away and hollow out my stomach, and I take the opposite hand and I follow it here. I'm not worried about that punch because if he does the punch, he kind of has a lot of blockage. He's blocking his own hand. He may, be, he may even hit his own knife if I blocked it into the hand. But it's a good time for me to punch him if I parry it down. Now he punches me in the face. There's the knockout from there. So I said, that doesn't work either. So let me add on from there. So we block the first strike. I parry the second strike. I block the third strike. As I parry it, he punches. So I just keep my hands up. That's all we're doing from here. From here, I can pop, go into the strike. I can parry it up, go into the elbow. I can worry about this hand. Now this hand, when I was busy blocking this hand, this hand comes back and it gets me on there. So do that real quick. So I block the first one. I parry the second one. I block the third one. I parried and he punches and I hooked and blocked it here, but he comes up and he still gets me. So I'm gonna have to transition from this blocking hand to the same drill I started with. So the full drill, one, two, three, he punches four, five, and then it repeats itself. He punches me, he punches me, and I'm ready for it. Okay, I'll do it to Derek so you see the different view. So I do that whole thing at the end. So he blocks the first one, he parries the second cut, he blocks the third one. As he parries down, I throw a punch, but he blocks it from the inside and he's ready for it when I do the next sequence of events. He parried down, I punch it, he blocks, and then he switches hands over to that side. Let's do the left side. So Derek attacks me with the knife on his left hand. Again, he hooks, once, left hand on left hand, parry, block, he throws a punch, I move out of the way, and then as he comes and strikes me, I'm ready for that from here. And then same thing, I have it here, and you're just kind of blocking, parrying, and repeating. If I do it to Derek on the left side, nice and slow, left hand, left hand, parries down, he blocks it, he parries it away, and he's ready for that wide haymaker punch. And then he's ready when I come at him from a different strike. Okay, so practice that.